Hey YouTube, it's Tech128 here with part two of my Quadlock iPhone 6 bike kick video. So in part one, uh, I showed you what was in the box and I showed you some of the access accessories for the Quadlock mount system. Today I'm going to show you what it's like to put this on your bike. So you can see I actually mounted the uh, quad lock bike mount on, on my bike. Uh, it took all of about two minutes to do it. I'll show you how it works. I'll start by taking this off and then reattaching it. So if you remember quad lock came with the bike mount and then it came with two sets of o-rings. Uh, this set and a larger set as well as two wire ties. So let me just show you. So here are the two larger O-rings and then here's one of the wire ties and the other one. So the idea is that you can use the O-rings to mount this on the bike on and off pretty quickly and then the wire ties are there if you want a more secure mount. This stem is an H2O stem. It's a kind of an odd stem. It's a very thick aluminum stem for a one inch quill stem. That's what I'm using on my bike. So the mount sits on top of the stem like this and then the w way the o-rings work is you and i'm using the smaller set here for this stem you hook them over each side so this is a really tight fit i found the smaller ones mounted a little bit better okay so that's the top one on and then i'm going to do the same with the bottom and i find that i need to sort of cheat a little and twist them out when i get it on there and then kind of just move it back into position. So the first thing you'll notice is that uh, even when it's mounted on my bike, at least this way, it, it still moves. So it's not a solid contact or lock with the stem. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be or if it's acceptable this way, but that's the way I set it up. Uh, but it, it's on there sturdy. I guess the nice thing about the O-rings are you could take it off and on and move it to a different bike, which at 70 bucks or whatever for the case uh, it was kind of expensive so it would be, be nice to be able to move it back and forth between your bikes so i have my iphone iphone 6 here and i put the phone is in the quad lock case and the poncho is on it and then the idea is you need to line up the quad lock with the mount there we go it's actually a little bit easier to put on the, than that i'm kind of working around the camera here I wanted to be able to get the camera in nice and tight so you could see it. So now the phone is mounted there. And initially I had some concern as to whether or not this was going to be strong enough or hold up. I actually did mount it and take it out for a ride and it did really well. Here in Massachusetts we have our share of bumpy roads. We have what we call frost heaves where the ground pushes up in the winter and kind of puts all sorts of crazy potholes and bumps in the road. And I did hit a quite a patch of uh, frost heaved road today so this thing stayed in place and nothing came off and it seemed to work pretty well and it's a little bit difficult to activate the screen through the poncho again uh, remember in my first video i pointed out i have a glass screen protector on the phone so that what's making it a little bit more difficult now when you want to remove it you need to grab it and twist it and i actually found this a bit hard to do there we go because i don't have this tight seal on the stem uh, this twists a little bit when you're trying to turn and, and get the case off of the bike. So the other option is I, I could be able to use these wire ties if I wanted to dedicate this mount to this bicycle. I could Additionally, I could wire tie this down, cinch this up so these were tight and probably get it so that uh, it didn't move at all. Right? The disadvantage would be is that I would need to cut the wire tie or sort of try and get in there and get the little release on it. If I wanted to move it to another bike, it would be uh, pretty inconvenient. So uh, other thoughts, comments about the case. Like I said, it worked pretty well. Uh, the poncho definitely did help. You can, I got some uh, dripping sweat on it today. I was out there working hard and uh, it protected it from the liquid. I'm wondering how well this thing is gonna clean and stay clean and, and uh, not get too scratched up or gummed up. Time will tell with that. And then the other thing I noticed, uh, which I didn't point out in the video the other day, is when you put the poncho on, the speaker is sealed, the lightning port is sealed, and the headphone jack is sealed. I'm not so sure that I would need the uh, head set port while I was riding because I wouldn't put on a headset or the speaker for that matter. I mean, I guess I could take a speaker phone call, but I did have the idea that maybe I would mount a, a battery on the bike somewhere and run a lightning cable up so that I could charge it because when you're using a fitness app, like I was using the, the Wahoo fitness app and it uses the GPS to record your bike route and that uses up a lot of battery so I thought, you know, I put an external bot battery in the bottle cage and ran a cable up and and kept the phone charging and I guess I could do that if I didn't use the poncho or if I decided to cut a hole through the poncho and then I would lose a little bit of the uh, protection. 
And I guess the uh, camera port is also covered up too. I haven't tried taking a picture with that on. I guess that could be an issue if you like to stop and when you're riding and, and take pictures and you're taking a photo through this uh, plastic case so you, or you just would have to remove the poncho. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot, yeah, I did want to mention was that uh, quad lock had this kind of mount, but they're also coming out with front mount, which is not available yet. So the idea is it would clip onto the bar and then it has an arm on it and uh, the quad lock system and then it would mount like that. Some of the other mount bike mounting uh, systems are like that and I think I might get that mount when it's available. As far as I can tell it hasn't shipped yet. It's supposed to ship in July and then the idea would be you could have your phone like this. I think I'd like that kind of mount better because it would be more secure. Your phone might actually be safer mounted like this on your bike as opposed to like that. Thanks for watching. If you uh, found this video helpful, uh, give us a like on YouTube. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to the Tech 128 YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.